My name is Emily Lakdawalla. I'm the Senior Editor and Planetary Evangelist for the Planetary Society. There's a lot of different places to search for life in the solar system. Um, if you use liquid water as your proxy for places where we should search for life, there's actually liquid water all over the place because most um, icy moons of outer planets probably have liquid ocean layers inside them. There might even be some Kuiper Belt objects that have liquid oceans. Pluto could have a liquid ocean. However, liquid ocean isn't quite enough because you also need active chemistry and for that you really need the ocean to be in contact with rock or some material that is not just more ice because that's where you can get all kinds of different chemical elements to build interesting molecules out of. And so there are a couple of places where we know that's happening, Europa being the big one, where um, it's, a, it's a large moon that has a thin ocean that is very likely directly in contact with a warm, rocky core. And it's a world that we know is geologically act active, so we know that there is a source of energy coming up from below. Um, and geologic activity brings up all kinds of chemistry. You might have black smoking vents on the ocean floor of Europa. And we know what kinds of cool stuff we find at those environments on Earth, so it would be really awesome to go explore Europa and find the same kind of black smoking vents and who knows, maybe little microbes swimming around. Europa is one of the likeliest places to search for life outside of Earth. Um, a problem, though, is that its ice shell is very thick. So if you want a place where there is an ocean that is likely in contact with rock on a geologically active world that's much easier to get to, it's hard to do any better than Enceladus, which is a very small moon of Saturn that has these active geysers spewing from its south pole. Those geysers are salty. It's a saltwater ocean. So we basically have a world that is very conveniently venting its ocean to space. You don't even have to land. You can just fly right through that plume and check to see what kinds of cool chemistry is happening there. So yeah, I think Enceladus would be a really cool place to explore for life. Thanks for watching. Now make sure you click subscribe on our YouTube channel here. And maybe you still got some questions about space and astronomy like this one or that one. And if you don't see what you're looking for, then send me an email at info at universetoday.com. Black smoking vents and who knows, maybe little microbes swimming around.